Prince of Peace, Lord. Your love never fails us, Lord God. It always sustains us. And we just want to worship you, Lord God, in sincerity and in truth, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, Lord. Just with sincere hearts, just with gratitude, Lord God. In this season of gratitude, obviously, we all move in that direction. But, Lord, we just ask that you move in our hearts. So gratitude is always our first response. Lord, we just lift our hands in worship because you're worthy to be worshipped, Lord. Your love, Lord, resounds every fear, Lord God, every anxiety. It's in your perfect love that fear is removed. Lord. It's in that perfect love that we're found in you, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord, this morning, Lord. We just come to you, Lord, and in thanksgiving, Lord, and in praise. Because your love has always sustained us, Lord, even when we don't see it. It's your love that has always sustained us. Lord, as your word says in Romans 28, 828, it says, You make all things good, Lord, for those who love you. You make all things good. So in that posture of understanding, Lord, we surrender our thoughts to you this morning. We surrender our will, our plans, whatever. If we came in with an agenda, if we came in with a perspective, we ask that you remove that perspective. Give us heaven's perspective this morning. And in that spirit of thanksgiving and praise, Lord, God, I just pray that you move in the way today like you've never moved in this house, Lord. Give us a fresh fresh anointing of your spirit lord god we're we're rejoicing we're glad to be in your house lord we're glad to be your children we're thankful for you what you've done for us move in this place lord god in that in that fashion lord god where where joy joy resounds in our hearts lord thank you jesus for who you are lord god and it's in your name we give you thanks honor and praise amen
this morning. Declare it in this place. You make all things work together for my good. All things work together for my good. You make all things work together for my
that they're in this room today, that they walked into family, that they walked into freedom. Because in your presence, there is freedom, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, because you are here, Lord. Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we pray this all in your name, Jesus, amen. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday, welcome. If it's your first time, like I said in the prayer, you walked into family. We're so happy that you're here. We say this all the time. We've been praying for you. We really mean it. We've been praying for you. And we're really, really happy that you're here. My name is Alyssa, and I have the honor and the privilege in this moment to just talk about our giving. 
But before that, I wanted to talk really quick about his heart. We had our Thanksgiving outreach this past weekend on Saturday, and it was amazing. But it takes some pretty amazing leaders like our pastors right here, Pastor Jesus, Pastor Blanca, Pastor Michelle, Pastor Jeff. Man, the Lord's been generous with us, four pastors. Usually people have two, maybe one. We got four. So um, if that's not enough to give, that, that right there is a giving moment. <laughs> but I just want to honor you guys because these are the type of pastors that go the day before the outreach and knock on the door personally. So the area that we went was a low-income area in South Miami, and they went. They went and they knocked on the doors. Pastor Michelle, Pastor Blanca, all week preparing for Friendsgiving moment, for a message. And not only that, but just being available for whoever calls you at any moment to pray for them, to love on them, a marriage, to counsel. You guys are all around the clock, always available for each and every one of us. And you do it with a smile on your face. So I thank you and I honor you because you're the real deal. You're the real deal. You're not phony, you're real. And I just love you so, so much. And I thank you for loving the community, not our direct community right here, but the ones beyond the walls, like South Miami, where it's nowhere near us, but we went there and we poured out God's goodness in that community and the generosity. And you guys are all about that. So I love your heart. So if you weren't there and you weren't able to see it, we got a quick video for you on his heart. It was amazing. Check it out. There's nothing worth more than I will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living home. The Lord is good. He's here. He's blessing all these people. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Let's go! Woo! I just want to say thank you, and I'm grateful, and I truly appreciate you all. I am a proud member of Mount Olive Baptist Church right there on 59th Place. So thank you. I really appreciate you, and God bless you all. God bless you. Awesome. God really did his thing. And it was such a full circle moment because Mount Olive is where they used to be. And there we had the community coming out and they said, I remember you. I remember one name. And it was just crazy whether they went one time or they went a bunch of times. It's just amazing how God showed up and they showed out in that community yesterday. It was incredible. And it was a move of God, you know. And it's giving not only of our treasure but also of our time and our talents willingly. That's all the Lord asked with a joyful heart. Not, no, like, yes. You know, for me personally, I don't have much, but I give much because he gave me everything. He gave me the freedom to stand in front of you today. He gave me joy that doesn't make sense. He's given me peace. He's given me healing. He's given me liberation. He's blessed me with family. Family, okay? When I already had a lot of family, I got more family now. God's given me so much. So it's like, God, you want 10%? Have 20%, bro. Have whatever you want. I'm going to show up. It's just the heart, man. So I'm not trying to put any shame on anybody that doesn't give, but that's why we give. That's why we give. It's for people like that that need it. Or somebody here that needs it. You might not know it, but they'll call the pastors, and that's what the pastors give them with, that money. It's not our money. It's God's money. And when you see it in that light, 
man, it humbles you. And it's just 10%. Like, it's no shame, but think about that. But anyways, let's bow our heads and let's pray. And like I said, it's no shame. We're family. I'm talking family, family here, right? Okay. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this moment, God. We thank you, Lord, because you gave up heaven. You gave up heaven. You gave up your throne to be with us, to be the son of man, fully human, fully God, and walk this earth. You didn't have to do all that, but you did it. Lord, we give you our hearts. Lord, reveal to us people that we can give to, our time, our talents, our treasure, listening to them. Whatever it is, Lord, reveal those people to us. You call us to be your hands and your feet, Lord. There's people in our family, in our workplace, anywhere and everywhere that we can be a light to this holiday season, Lord. We are a people, Lord, a, a family that we say yes, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we trust you, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that everything that is given to you today from this family, from this place, anybody watching online, that it would glorify you and build your kingdom, Lord, and bring the lost home and just bring a family around people who need it the most and resources and provision, Father God, that we would meet them with faith and actions, God. We love you, Lord, and we pray this all in your mighty name, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Go ahead and stand up and get ready to move into another moment of worship where we just surrender. Surrender everything to Jesus. Give him your plans, your ideas, your time. Just surrender everything this morning. Amen.
всегда.